impresses you most about a, a game like that in the second half of a back-to-back? -back? 24 blocks, something like that. I mean, just an overall good road game for your team. The, 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 the key for the game was, I thought, our patience. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough team to get through in the neutral zone. Big team, uh, one of the better teams in the league. And uh, we, we just talked about trying to play forward, uh, trying to be as fast as we could, getting it out of our end zone, and just being patient through the neutral zone. I thought we did a pretty good job of that. You mentioned after last night's game that there were a few too many odd man rushes for your liking. I know they got a lot of shots tonight, but it didn't seem like a lot of great A's. Yeah, I call bullshit on the shots. They, I think they hit the button twice on every shot. Uh, so they screw up the clocks and the shot clock. I call bullshit, but uh, much better on, on that. And, and that was part of our patience. I just thought we were trading with Anaheim. There was a bit of a run and gun game. Uh, we're not equipped to do that. Uh, we're pushing offense. I think we're creating a lot of offense, but we can't get into a run and gun. So I, that's where I thought a lot of our patience came into play. How encouraging it does it make you feel when you see Morgan score a couple like he did tonight? Yeah, yeah, he scores one in the paint, uh, makes a couple good plays. Uh, hopefully that'll give him some confidence. That, you know, everybody keeps asking me, why isn't Frosty in, in the lineup and this, that, the other thing. He needs to do those things offensively for us, uh, for him to play in that role. We, we talked about the mechanics of our lineup the other day. Uh, so it, 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 was a, it was a good game for him tonight. You've been, you've been talking all week, really, about the importance of guys getting to the paint. I know you're asking everyone to do that, but is it, does it make you feel even better when it's somebody like Morgan who maybe isn't necessarily used to going to the paint? You see him doing yeah. it? Yeah, he's buying in. You know, He's trying to find a way to stay in the lineup. And, uh, 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 when we when we talk about Morgan, I, I think he has really worked at that part of his game. I, I think he's so much better away from the puck. I'm not as concerned anymore as I was the first half of last year. But we need his offense. That's the only way he can stick. And uh, he's beginning to show us that. First three goals are all outlet passes by Sean Walker starting things off. He gets two assists on two of them. He just continues to, to drive that from, from the back end. Yeah, he, he, he's not afraid to make plays. He's not afraid to join. Uh, very aggressive in his approach to, towards the game, closing people out. Uh, he, he, he's been, uh, you know, our back end is our back end. We're, we're shuffling people in and out. We've got a lot of growing to do there. Um, he's been Stalzy and Risto being out, puts more responsibility on him. He's done a terrific job. And I know Tyson, everybody's looking, you know, goals, when are they coming? Yeah. But that, that must have been the third time this week that he's forced a turnover behind the net yeah. and either assisted or had a scoring chance. That's an underrated part of his game. Yeah, he's had a great stick all through this year through his lack of scoring. Now, Yorkie makes the, the start of that play with a great stick at our blue line, breaking up their rush. Tyson initiates the play in the offensive zone. He's, pro he's probably the best guy right now in the first part of the season as far as puck battles, uh, stick on puck. And uh, he, he's done a terrific job there. And just hoping he can start kicking in some goals along the way here. Speaking of confidence, obviously, Cal Peterson now getting a win under his belt, his first win in almost a year. I mean, how important is that for you now to have three goalies that maybe you can run with if you need it? Yeah, I'm happy for him. Uh, forget about what we're going to do with our goalies just for tonight playing against his old team. Um, you know, he's been, he's kind of lost the last little while in his career. Uh, he, he just kind of not sure what was going to happen with him. I'm happy for him here. Uh, made some, tr uh, I, I thought where he was good was rebounds, where he didn't give up many. When they did have rebounds, they were grade A scoring chances. He made some key saves there. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm still trying to learn about him. Uh, uh, no, he, he's had an inconsistent uh, part of his career here, uh, so good for him. I'm happy for him. It seemed like he was, he was able to take a lot of shots tonight, like the lanes were open and he was yeah. getting good looks. Yeah, he, and the thing, at, at the beginning of the game, the pucks were kind of bouncing off him uh, the first three or four minutes, but then things were sticking to him, and I thought that really helped us. We blocked a lot of shots. Uh, I, I thought he fought through the traffic and uh, not a lot of extra motion. Uh, all, you know, just a little bit of panic in his game. I thought he was really patient. Again, I don't know much about it, but that's what I saw. There wasn't a lot of extra movement in his game. Going back to Tyson for a second, he's obviously been a goal scorer his entire career. He's been in this slump where he can't score, but what does it say about him that, if anything, as the, the slump continues from a goal scoring standpoint, it's almost like the details of his game are getting 
better. It's not like he's cheating for offense. He's focusing even more on the little things. It, it, it's, it's impressive for a young man uh, figuring that the only way he stays there is for him to score goals in, in an organization starving for goals, right? I, I think he's handling the, this is how you become a pro uh, is handling situations like this the way he is and just continue to work at his other, other part of his game. How many times have I told you that when, when a guy isn't scoring goals, okay, do the other stuff. He has just continued to do that. And, uh, he's, laying a, he's laying a really good foundation for himself because he's going to be a goal scorer. And he, uh, right now he's, he's putting down a nice foundation for himself as far as what it is to be a pro. I mean, obviously, more. with the offense, you know, the last two games, especially, you know, you put up 10 goals between yesterday and today. Power play is still not working, but you're getting the goals. I mean, that says a lot more about what the team's doing. On yeah, the yeah. I, I thought our last power play had some looks tonight. Uh, um, you know, we, we, t we, we talked about at the beginning of the year. We want to kind of change the personality of our team. We want to take some chances. Uh, we need to score more goals. And... Uh, for the most part, in the first uh, first part of this year, I think we've developed a lot of offense. Past couple of nights, we've paid them off. Uh, all, th all through the year, we have created a lot, but there's some nights we just we just can't finish. Past couple of nights, we've been fortunate enough to do that.